filling in the gap between episodes 4, A New Hope, and 5, The Empire Strikes Back. We are here discussing Marvel Comics, Star Wars, Darth Vader, issue number 11. Dr. Aphra is meeting back up with the Ante to try and purchase information regarding the location of Luke Skywalker. She gives Triple Zero a couple credits so that he can go play some holochess, which he seems to be fond of. Nearby, Thanoth has reported that he has a lead on the whereabouts of the Sector's information broker, who can likely lead them straight to their criminals. This puts Vader in a position to go after the same person whom Aphra is currently speaking with. Not wishing to cause any suspicion at this point, he marshals his troops and prepares to strike. Dr. Aphra has paid the steep price the ante has requested for the location of Luke Skywalker, as many others have been asking for the same information. Once she pays him the exorbitant sum, he reveals the location as Vrogus Voss. Their conversation is cut short as an announcement comes over the station that Imperials are invading. Aphra calls to Triple Zero and BT-1 to head back to the ship, which stops Triple Zero from killing his hollow chest opponent, whom he just lost to. However, the Imperials blew through the wall and told everyone not to resist. As things looked like they were calming down, BT-1 shot Triple Zero's hollow chest opponent, which started a firefight between the Stormtroopers and the establishment's patrons. Vader and Thanoth reach the Ante, who, out of good faith, gives up the location of the Plasma Devils, as well as pointing out the individual who stole the Sun Toll Pride's fortune. As we see Dr. Aphra running from the fray, Vader uses the Force to cause a stray blaster bolt to kill the Ante before he's able to give up her identity. Aphra is running from a squad of stormtroopers and manages to run right into Vader. Vader, telling her not to struggle, grabs her in a force choke. However, Aphra says that she knows the location of Skywalker, information that she will give him only after her escape. Whether or not he was actually going to kill her is unknown, but he lets her get away by appearing to get caught in a trap that she set. Just when Aphra thought she was home free, Thanoth has stationed a Star Destroyer and a fleet of TIE fighters in a blockade formation. As soon as she is out of the storm surrounding the station that she escaped from, she fell right into the Imperial's hands. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe to keep up with all the insight and analysis found here at Star Wars The Canon Explained. You can also follow us on Twitter or visit us on Facebook. Till next time, may the Force be with you.